What's up guys, Omar Esau here. In this video today, we're talking about everybody's favorite topic, biceps. But more specifically, how to prevent a bicep tear while deadlifting. And while I can't guarantee that this will work 100% of the time, these three simple tips will really help everyone out from getting a bicep tear by making these common mistakes. So the first thing I want to address is we're not going to talk about the hook grip, which is, would be a separate video. We're talking about individuals that will be doing a mixed grip on the deadlift. A mixed grip, of course, is when you go like this. So you have alternating hands. This is when the weight gets too heavy to grip it normally double overhand. The vast majority of powerlifters that lift a lot of weight use a mixed grip. Now there's three key components that usually will lead to a bicep tear. The first and most important, this happens all the time, improper form. And here's what I mean. The guys will yank on the bar rather than getting tight and getting tension in their body. Here's what I mean. So here's a YOLO, right? They go up to the bar, they're all excited. Oh my God, I just lost 300 times to lift some weight. They go to pick it up and as soon as they go to pick it up, their biceps, they're in this position right here. Their arms are bent, they're not long. If they're not straight, they're bent like a curl. And if you think about it from this position right here, when you have 500 pounds loaded up and your arms in this position, you're essentially doing a 500 pound partial bicep curl, which would explain why your bicep would tear. The number one mistake, as I said before, guys will yank on the bar without lengthening their arms. Imagine that they're hooks and they have to be straight. So they'll pick it up like this. If I get a bicep tear in this video, I'm gonna be very fucking pissed. So they're like this, yo, whoa. They pick it up and their arms are bent the whole time. So essentially what they're doing, they're picking up the whole weight, 135, 405, 500 pounds, 600 pounds. I've seen guys with some serious weight and their arms aren't straight. That's the first problem. If we eliminate this, the vast majority of bicep tears would disappear. It comes from incorrect technique. And this comes from not getting tight as I said before. I have another video on this, you know, bracing the core, making sure your lats are engaged, loading the hips, all those important details, having a firm grip, but it all starts with lengthening your arms, right? The tip I would give to help with that, rather than turning into a curl bro or snapping your shit up, is picture that your arms are hooks. They have to be straight the whole time. Some people will give the cue to actually tighten or flex your tricep because while your tricep is flexed, you can't bend your arm. That's a good cue, but what I would recommend is just think that your arms are hooks. They cannot bend. If you bend at any point, then you have to restart the movement, film yourself, critique it, and fix it. Because if you do this, if you do this, at one plate, you just got bad form, you're all rolled over, you're like this, and you're, oh, you're picking up like this. If you do this habitually with lighter weight, and you think, oh, I'm just gonna fix it when it comes to heavier weight, you're not. It's gonna become ingrained in your brain. So the first rule of thumb, Think that your arms are long, the cue is your arms are long. And think about this, the added benefit, if you lengthen your arms, so if you make sure they're perfectly straight, it's tight, right, triceps, long, firm grip, look at the distance. If you're curled and you're like this, so let's say a lot of YOLOs, they actually will walk out like this, it looks something like this, right? Look at this lockout, the amount of range of motion required versus this, right, I'm exaggerating here, but it's a couple inches. Lengthening your arms will make the deadlift easier. So first of all, don't yank on the bar, get tight. Second of all, make sure your arms are like hooks, they're lengthened. You can flex your tricep if you want to make sure you got that cue. The other point I want to quickly talk about is the fact that some people, when you get in your later 20s and your 30s, I've noticed this in the 40s as well, you potentially train an area too much where it becomes permanently tight, where you're not doing the requisite mobility work. So what happens, your resting arm position, rather than being straight like this, normal, right, straight, it's actually kind of bent like this. So when you go to pick up the weight, you think, yeah, arms long, whatever, right? And you go down, and when you actually go to pick it up, your arm is still slightly bent. You're in that bent position. As I said before, the vast majority of bicep tears come due to incorrect injuries. Loading the bar, loading your bicep with all that weight. The other big mistake I want to talk about, let's, let's assume that you've got it down pat. You've lengthened your arm, right? It's boom. Okay, we're good, it's tight, we're tight, let's deadlift, watch this. So we're gonna start good, and it's gonna turn bad. So we're like, watch Omar's video, let's do it. Lengthen, arms are long, that's why I also, FYI, that's why when I extend, in my cue like this, I keep it long, and then I just draw them directly down, pull a cook. So let's say we got it, looks good, right? Everything looks good, it's straight, we pick it up, and then, oh, you see that lockout position there? What we did to try and lock it out, we kind of shrugged a bit, we bent our arms a bit. In essence, we're trying to pull with our upper back, with our actual shoulders, and our traps and our biceps a little bit, to get to the lockout, and you'll notice that. 
lot of guys, they kind of, they start off long, straight, and they're like, yeah, whoa! And if you look at this position right here, 700 pounds on your bicep going like this is a horrible time. That's how the actual bicep tear is gonna happen. The other thing I want to talk about is systemizing your setup. There's a lot of subtle details, right? When I actually, I partially strained one of my biceps when I did that power range of deadlift. The reason being, my setup wasn't perfect, I couldn't see out of the mask, no shit. But what happened, my positioning of my hands, they were not perfect, they were like this. And you'll notice, some guys that do a mixed grip will do this. They'll go like this, right? They go to pick it up, and then look, watch this. Look at both hands right here. This is even, right? So if you flip it around, it should look like this. But some YOLOs, what they'll do, right, because they have imbalances, they'll go like this. Instead of like this, they're picking it like this, right? They're all the way out here. They have an uneven grip width. So watch this, watch this down here. And they go like this, they go like this. Well, this bicep now on my left side, the underhand grip, has a lot more pressure on it. This is actually pretty much the exact position I accidentally picked up when I was doing the green Power Ranger deadlift. And this puts a tremendous pressure on your actual bicep itself. The big one, I can't say this enough, the big portion of the pie would be to make sure that your technique is correct, right? Your arms are long. Imagine that they're hooks. If you think about the cue of flexing your tricep in order to make sure that your bicep and your arm itself is straight, make sure on lockout that you're not shrugging or bending your actual arms itself. And film your actual technique, because I guarantee this, a couple people have sent me videos where they thought their technique was perfect, They're just to break, like, yo, oh, look, I got like a 400 pound deadlift or whatnot, and I noticed some subtle details. When you film yourself, it will reveal all your mistakes, because it'll be an objective way to look at your own training. Just thought I'd make this quick video, guys, on those that decide not to do a hook grip like myself. I can't hook grip, you know, 565, so I'm still doing the mixed grip. I do believe with proper technique, it is absolutely safe, so just make sure that you're deadlifting with power. That's it. That's the video, that's all I wanted to say. Preventing bros from getting bicep tears since 92. Thank you very much for watching, rascals. If you liked the video, make sure to like the video. I'll be seeing all you guys in that next video. Peace.